Welcome to Trade with Rob, brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Wednesday, October 16, 2024. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope it's a great trading day for you. It sure is an interesting one. So as we get started, keep in mind everything we look at is for education and nothing is meant to be advice or recommendations. If you like something, you see anything, make sure it fits your own personal risk profile and risk tolerance. All right. So let's start off with the trades from yesterday. Uh, the very first one was AMAT. Not a good result. Holy freaking mackerel. No, Rob, that's a great move. Yeah, if we hadn't already taken a bullish trade on it, right? So we did wind up in a bullish trade on this. Uh, I did not flip it around into a bearish one. I should have. It was just amazing push on um, AMAT. So we wound up taking a bullish trade. Let's get the five minute chart here. Here we go. Okay, so bring it in a little bit. So we got, if we look, well, we actually have to go to once. We go to one minute candle, right? And let's back it up a little bit so we could find it. Here we go. So we had made the move up, right? We came back down here. We bounced. I took the trade, um, went against us. All right, so that's one and done, all right? So that's first one. Next one is Spotify. Next one is Spotify. So on Spotify, we took up the bearish entry. So if we look at Spotify, it broke down, gapped up and failed, closed up, broke down. Uh, that's on the five minute, right? On the one minute, it broke down, retested and failed. And we got in right about three, uh, what was it? 214, no, what am I looking at here? 371.30, I think is what I got filled at. Um, again, remember all these example trades, right? Nothing is meant to be advice. So we got into trade there. We held on to it through the, throughout the end of the day. Uh, actually not the end of the day. We held on to it. it. It hit our target. We were two bucks away from that 362 and a half. So at 364 and a half, uh, was where we ran into. It ran down at 364 and a quarter. We're out. We're taken out of the trade. Tesla, no bueno. We never got a setup on Tesla today. We look at a five minute chart on Tesla. So we had the big push up, we failed. And by the time we started playing around and giving us a nice little bounce, it's noon. So no trade there. And by the time it, it started getting back in that area again, it's already after three o'clock. So it's too late to take the trade, too late in the afternoon um, as well. So no trade taken there. All right, now we're gonna go back over to a daily chart and we'll start off with S&P 500. We started out okay, we pushed up, did not get to an all-time high today, pushed up and had a massive move down about 44 and a half points to the downside today. So, and that's not high to low. We had a much bigger move high to low there because we did gap up today uh, and then the pull back down from there. So the 45 points is from yesterday's close. So we are still in a bullish bias. I don't mind the bounce off of there. I'm not fretting it at all, but it is something to, uh, for us to be uh, cognizant of. Right, first trade is potential trade setup is CDNS, right? So let me bring this in a little bit, pull that out a little bit there. There we go. And let's make sure we're not scrunched up. Okay, we're not. So we had a nice fail today, just like we did on the um, S&P 500. So what are we looking for? What do we want to see here, right? Well, I like the bearish trade better right now, right? So I wouldn't mind a little bit of a move down, not much, 50 cents, just something down a little bit. It can go up first. I wouldn't, I would like it better if it went down a little. Retest and fail, right? Take the trade off of the fail. Stop is gonna be just above support. That 272.12 is support, uh, or resistance rather. Um, so we're looking at support at 260.34. We're looking at the target of right about 250, uh, 261 and a half, 261 and a quarter, somewhere around there, uh, 262, somewhere in that area, right? On the upside, we got some room. So give me the move up, retest and bounce, right? Take the trade off of the bounce, right? Um, our resistance is at one, uh, 281.65, our target's probably right about 280, 279 and a half, somewhere in that area. We've got plenty of room in there. Six, seven dollars is not an impossibility uh, for this position, right? So CDNS, first one. PANW is number two. So I like the way that it ran up and it pulled back. Now, 
The question is, what trade do we want to see? Move up or move down? Oh, do I need a fibbit in here? Let's see. 75, I do. So I need to split this level in half. If you're asking the why question, why do we need to split this level in half? I'm not going to tell you. No, okay. So why are we splitting this in half? Here's what I'm going to do. It's not a 30 second answer. So if you go over to uh, tradinglikeaboss.com, there'll be a link in the description below. You go there and look for the, um, the Fibonacci training series. It's a three part series. You get one part each day for three days in a row. So you can practice what I teach you in each one. It'll go through how I use fibs and so forth. You'll get an understanding of it. But I had to split this level because it was too big of a distance. So right now, I think we're looking at this. I prefer this to the upside because we are bullish on it right now. So give me the small move to the upside, pull back and bounce. Doesn't have to go all the way back to the 375 level. Just pull back in that direction. Uh, we'll take our, our stop just down below that 375.37. The dot I put is the entry. Resistance is at 387 and three quarter. My target's gonna be right about 386. 386, give or take, right? For the downside, I like the downside a lot. Move down, push up, fail, right? Support is at 364.59. We'll take the trade right off of the fail and the stop will be just on the other side of 375.37. My target is gonna be somewhere around 366. Again, you'll pick your targets to where you think you like them. That I think is a comfortable zone to set that target up. And think about this. You could set the target at 366. You're watching it. Something happens like it did today and the market starts to shift. You could pull out of the trade earlier. It's not that you have to leave it in there, but you want to have a target in mind of what you're looking at. And then why not United Healthcare after that bashing it took on its earnings today? Crush, kill, destroy. I definitely like the bearish side better today. Look at that move. Fib line to fib line. It was freaking amazing, right? What a great setup. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our red. So small move up, a fail, uh, 44 to 58 is 14. I don't need a fib in that. Okay. So in other words, I don't have to split that level. So that would be our entry. Our stop would be just on the other side of the 558.61, which is our um, higher end, right? That's that we're going to bounce off of. So our support is 544 and a half. My target's going to wind up being about 547, 548, somewhere in that range. Again, you'll pick your overall target. Uh, and then if it does move up, I'm good with that too. Move up, pull back, bounce, right? Take the trade off of the bounce at the stop somewhere down below the 558.61 level. Resistance is at 570. The target's going to be somewhere around 567, 66. Somewhere in that range, uh, heck, 65 would still be a phenomenal setup. All right? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to Trade with Rob. Not only will you get a notification that this video has been complete, there's also going to be a private members area that we are working on right now. It should be done next week. But you will start getting immediately after you do an email along with this email that says the video is done with the balance of the candidates that I didn't give you today. And today we had 14 candidates. I gave you three. It means there's 11 more candidates out there that are just like this that are setting up right now as potential trades. So with that, make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you just one trade away. Take care, everybody. I'll see you at our next update. Bye for now.